Today I'm going to walk you through how to use one of the 400 plus integrations that Datadog provides out of the box called Event Bridge and how you can use that Event Bridge to perform auto remediation within your environment. For anyone who may have used this in the past, Event Bridge was formerly called Amazon CloudWatch Events. So in order to set this up within Datadog, first off you will want to go ahead and add your AWS account to the AWS integration tile. Make sure you have the correct IAM profile set up. Secondly, you can go ahead and click on Event Bridge. What you're going to notice here is it does call out there is one additional IAM uh, rule called Events Create Event Bus. This is what allows Datadog to, uh, from within the Datadog UI, you can set up a, an event bus, a message um, bus, and then it'll actually push it over to AWS um, on your behalf so that you can just click in, find that event bus, add the partner integration, and then select what actions you want to perform. So now that you've got your AWS account set up, you've got the, uh, the IAM profile with the events create event bus, go ahead and select your AWS account and then you can go ahead and add a new event bus here. For this example, we're going to use one of our existing um, event buses called PCF Deploy. So once you go ahead and add that in here, what's going to happen is it's going to push it over to Amazon Web Services. You'll now see that on the Event Bridge tab. And what I want to show you here is all of the various different actions that you can kick off once these partner events from Datadog enter your event bus on the AWS side. So this is where a lot of the power comes. Now you can have a Datadog monitor kick off an alert and perform lots of various different actions, whether it's um, spin up auto scale groups, tear down auto scale groups, kick off Lambda functions, um, launch or destroy EC2 instances, um, and lots of other tasks within AWS, and you can even launch remote shell scripts outside of AWS. So a lot of flexibility here to perform a lot of self-remediation. Now within Amazon itself, you will have your event bus, so we're going to use the PCF deploy. Underneath the, Brit, the bus, you can associate different rules. A rule, you can add up to two different targets. Think of targets as the outbound action. So here within this rule, I've got the name PCF Deploy. You can see it's automatically set up to be an event pattern and a predefined pattern by service because Datadog is a ser service provider here. So um, then you can define your specific targets you want to hit. In this example, I want to hit a specific SNS topic that's going to send out an SMS message so I can get a text message letting me know this deployment has gone out. And secondarily, I also want to run this, um, this uh, shell script that lives on an EC2 instance. So here it's hard coded, you can see the instance ID, but obviously you can use tag values, etc. Pull various different things out of the outbound event to actually use as your target. As that example, you're going to see it's going to run out and use um, AWS Systems Manager and run this deploy script as a specific user. Now what I, I'm going to show you is this is AWS Systems Manager not running currently any actions but if I come back over to the Datadog UI now that I've set up that event bus I can utilize that event bus in multiple ways I can um, kick off actions based on uh, visualizations and dashboards that I see so now if I want to kick off that deployment I could do it directly from the UI using the at notation which will um, essentially bring up any of our outbound chat, um, ticketing, uh, collaboration tools. So a lot of flexibility there to kick off these remediation events on the visualizations themselves. But more likely, the, the real value is actually coming from alerts. So now from a single alert, I can come in and set up any of the criteria that I want to alert for. And then I can go ahead and write up my, my message here. And I'm just going to um, go ahead and use that exact same at notation to select that, that event bus that I have set up on the AWS uh, event bridge integration, which in this case is PCF deploy. So here you're going to see the integration name, event bridge. This is going to be your event bus name. Keep in mind you can set up lots and lots of different buses to perform various different actions. Now, in this example, I'm just going to, when this trigger, when this alert fires, 
I'm going to reach out to this endpoint, and then based on my um, settings on the rule itself, I don't care what comes in the body of that message. Anytime there's a message that comes into that PCF deploy event bus, I'm going to kick off this remote script that lives on this host, which um, essentially deploys an entire uh, Pivotal Cloud Foundry environment and all 32 associated VMs and uh, software. So now I can hop back to the Datadog UI. Now that I've got my message written up, I can make sure kind of it looks how I want to look. Um, once again, for this example, we just more want to show you the functionality. Now I can scroll down and let's just go ahead and I can save it or I can just say test notifications. So now I can actually send out a test um, event bridge uh, notification. I can just say alert, sure, go ahead and save that. So what that's going to do is reach out to AWS, create a message in that event bus, which will now trigger my action. So now I'm just going to refresh this page. Now you can see I'm actually running this command. If I click in on AWS Systems Manager, it shows you the instance ID that it's running on. It shows you the command descriptions. Also all of the command parameters. So now I have performed all of these um, entire deployment process through the Datadog UI without even having to leave Datadog. Now keep in mind this could be used for restarting processes, scaling up servers, uh, killing off servers, lots of different remediation processes. So hopefully this was helpful. Please feel free to take a look at our EventBridge documentation on the website and uh, have a great day.